Hi, I'm Felipe Torres, and I play drums for the Davy Jones Band. Uh, so this is my warm-up routine for most everyday playing. Uh, the first thing is that I actually am a very big stretcher. So before I even touch sticks, I want to make sure that every bit of my playing um, tools, as in my fingers, my shoulders, my arms, my legs, my back, my ears, everything feels warmed up and awake. And after I've stretched a lot, usually doing a lot of wrist stretching, and uh, shoulder stretches by pulling my arm uh, to the side. I'm doing this very quickly, but most of the time I do it a lot slower than that. Uh, once I get to the sticks, then what I want to do is just get my hands to where they're going to be warm, and I usually start from whatever part of my limbs feels the most tense. For example, today I've been out in the cold a lot, so my wrists and uh, shoulders, from my wrists to my shoulders, are usually feeling a little bit more tense from having been out in the cold. So I'll usually start with very big strokes, trying to get just as much of the bounce of the stick to go in, instead of actually forcing the stick as possible. Usually I'll go back and forth in singles. And then I actually like to do a lot of unison strokes, not flams, because though most people do a lot of rudiments in their practice, I found I actually don't use that many on most gigs. So I generally try to get my hands to sync up because most things, shuffles, rock grooves, things like that, are usually going to be unison uh, based strokes. After I've done a lot of the larger strokes, I move down into more wrist based things, molar technique, uh, bouncing. I usually use a hybrid of a French and a, and a German grip, so my hands are usually somewhere about here, not usually too much with the fingers up, and uh, work my way down to the fingers using whatever rudiment I haven't been using in a while, like flam taps and paradiddles and things like that. My favorite rudiment, for those that care, is the paradiddle diddle, because it moves pretty fast. And uh, I've been working on doing anything that feels more comfortable leading with my right. I usually try to do it as much as I can with my left, just to open up that side of my limb uh, dexterity. And uh, once I've done a good amount of that, and my hands are feeling pretty warm, then that's usually when I try to move into more, I guess, limbering exercises. For example, I've found that this one um, with my fingers tends to warm them up because I'm not using the stick as a bouncing um, up motion so much as I'm actually forcing it down. So I usually try to get the stick to where it'll balance, and I'll just go from finger to finger. As much um, time in between as I feel I need for each finger, and then switch to the other hand. I do play a little traditional grip, but it's only for, mostly for brush technique. So this is generally just used as a finger warming up exercise. And then from there, I usually try to just practice stick twirls because one, they're difficult and they're fun. And two, they're much more silent as long as I don't drop the sticks. So a few of those would be this one, where I'm twirling the stick from the bottom up through the fingers, some twirls above the hand, um, some twists in the hand, and things of that nature, just so that um, I just feel I get more of a sense of the balance of the stick by doing things that wouldn't normally need a rebound other than just the sticks in the air and gravity in my hands. So uh, after that, hopefully I just get onto the set and can keep breathing and play a good set and make sure I can listen to everybody and not tense up too much. Usually with drumming, I have to play on a lot of different surfaces. So I generally try to start from anywhere from my leg to a pad. And this pad is very nice because it not only has a very um, consistent bounce anywhere on it, but it also is pretty convenient to be able to uh, fit into a stick bag for traveling and to go on a stand. So I like this one very much.